Good morning, everybody. It is me. It is very silly. You know who I am. Um, it's 10 o'clock. It's been a really messy, messy, messy morning. I'll talk about that after because you're here to see what's sold. But it's going to be a split lot sold because I've got to get to McLean. Oh, my God. My whole week is a mess. My my anxiety is off, off the chain at the moment. But I'm going to do the what's sold really quickly. And then if you want to know what's happening after that... We'll be behind and I'll probably pop up the um, last two days vlogs. I didn't do that either. It's just been a messy, messy week. So anyway, those who don't know me, I'm Nelly. I live in a big bus with four grandkids or well, five at the moment. And that's another story. Six is coming down very shortly. And that's another story again. Three dogs or well, four dogs at the moment. A cat. Two birds. Actually, Miss 21 is going back to her dad. I'll talk about that in a second. I remember anyway I get started because it hasn't been the greatest week of reselling it's been very quiet and apparently it's been very quiet for a lot of resellers so don't feel bad but this video will be messed up it will be cut into different bits wherever I am during the day and you guys who know me for a long time know that happens sometimes and for those who don't who are new subscribers thank you thank you all for joining my channel and helping me grow and thank you for the ones that have been here forever thank you Okay, let's get started. First off, I'm going to talk about my quickly about my car, my car funds. I have put in an extra 138 is what I took out of my my um, funds this week, not 100. And I'll tell you why in a second what they were. And I actually took all the cans in and got 35 dollars. So that also went to my car fund, but my car fund total at the moment is at cost me 127 dollars, but my car fund amount that I have stashed away for my car. For those who don't know, I need a new car because this is our family car and a new car, business car. Uh, $1,880. So I'm very happy. This is seven, week, week seven. And yeah, I could do more, but I've got family to look after and fork out money for. So anyway, let's get started really quickly and get some of these done. And that way I can talk to you through the day when I get time. The abalone brooch is one of mine that I've had forever. And I probably should have gone into my car funds, but it didn't two things didn't um i got 25 for it i think i paid about two dollars for it because i always like to pick up really cheap jewelry when i can so my profit was 19 dollars and 60 cents and here they all come and this turquoise pen it's the same thing i think the turquoise pen it came in my 50 cent bag of jewelry to be honest so i probably made more than i'm saying um but i made 17 dollars 41 cents on that but probably made 19 dollars and 41 cents and we are going and i will see you soon it's 117 whatever time it was before and it's 117 I've gone to McLean dropped two kids off I, I'll explain it all in a minute I'm gonna get through this without crying <laughs> God, my day my life oh okay I think we we're up to the turquoise pendant which I didn't make I think I've got it out of my 50 cent bag of jewelry I can't remember to be honest where I got it um, it was this is, this is something I talked to you about too. Yes, I know that I've got to get my, this is the reason I've got to get my printer working because I mixed up two people's, two different people's postage uh, tracking thingy. Because I'm doing it manually or, yeah, or I'm doing it with my screenshot, if you guys know who do a lot of posting, um, the little QR code, but I get them mixed up because a lot of the numbers are very similar. There's only a couple of numbers in between that are wrong. So I've got them mixed up two times. So I had two people message me the other day asking where their item was, saying it's eight hours away, it's 12, 15 hours. It's because they had their tracking numbers wrong, but this was what the turquoise pendant was one of them. But everyone's got their stuff now, so that's really good. The Vesta matchbox, I think I got that. I do not know where I got it, to be honest. It could have been in the vintage haul that I got, I think. I'm not sure, but I sold it for $95, which I'm really stoked. And this is one of the things that went to my car. $82.91 went to my car for the Vesta matchbox. So if you can find any of these types of things, it's great. Now I've had it stashed away for too long, so it didn't take long to sell, probably about two weeks. The lead crystal clock went on to sell again. Now it got sold not long back and they didn't bother messaging me and it went for full price this time at $30. And um, it only cost me $5. So that was really good and twenty dollars and 98 cents i made on that and the souvenir velvet cushion remember i got these from the old fella um not long back and i ended up selling it for 15 and i made 11.84 dollars 84 and i think i've still got three left three left and yeah so that was really good 
the cigar box I can't remember where I got it. I think I got it from the free haul as well or from the vintage haul as well and thirteen dollars and seventy one cents is what I made cigarette boxes guys wooden cigarette cigarette cigar boxes from the day back in the day um, always check them out check out if they've got a stamp on it they will go on to sell people do collect those the Masters of the Universe, I made a big mistake with this one. It luckily only cost me 25 cents. I refunded him because his legs weren't working properly. It wasn't standing. I don't know. So I've, I've put on the bottom of each of my listings for all those toys to please contact me first because I don't know how they work. And then he tried to give me a bit of a lecture on, on I should describe it better. And I may have said this, you might hear me say this again later in the video from yesterday, the day before, whatever it is. Um, so I end up refunding. He said, oh, no, I don't want to refund. I don't want free things for free. I said, well, let me what you want, know what you want and I'll whatever. And he didn't reply. So I just refunded him to get it out of the way. So he enjoyed my 25 cent toy. <laughs> it is a refund. Um, the meatloaf CDs. I don't even know how much I paid for them because I forgot to write it down. So anyway, $23 is what I wrote down. There was a meatloaf movie and a CD that I've had for ages and they finally sold so that's good yes some things we buy you think it's never going to sell we have them for ages and all of a sudden they sell and other things we buy we just got to get rid of over a period of time which I will be doing very soon I will be culling a lot of my stuff I'm not even listing it it's not worth it or I'll be putting it away for a future garage sale or um, markets it's not gonna, markets aren't going to happen unless they're at one o'clock in the afternoon only markets are not going to happen with me nope Horton the elephant I finally sold him for $17 I made $12.59 I think I spent about $2 on him and Horton the elephant is something you don't really see very often so that was a good sell that was good someone wanted it Agatha Christie DVDs didn't have them very long a couple of weeks um, $2 is what I paid did I? I can't remember where I got them but anyway I haven't had them very very long maybe a month or something um, $18.72 is what I made on those and the sports girl jacket I'm not even going to see it right here I'll mention it but it hasn't been paid for yet so always the ones that give you a offer and it just sits so I'll go send a reminder for that one um, the Naughty Book set I've had for a few months now three dollars around three dollars I paid for those and $25.56 I made where I got them possibly the tip shop but I can't remember it was so long ago I can't remember where I got them but anyway it was cheap I know I'm on the cheapskate you know that um, the One Direction Twister game, I think I paid $3 for it ages ago. Uh -huh. And then it didn't, I think it got listed and unlisted, and then I listed it again. And so it's only been listed for a couple of weeks. And $22.98 I made on that. Um, Dream is a DVD set I picked up for $4 not long back and made $27.19 on those. And here's the exciting one, guys the cup. I did have $40 in it because I thought why not just see what test the waters right and I think I paid a dollar for this it was either one or two dollars but anyway it sold for 25 I had an offer at 20 and I counter offer at 25 and they took it so I made $20.60 on the sheet mug so there you go 50 cent oh sorry what did that cost me yeah it was I think it was one or two dollars that one yes so yes $20.60 I made on that mug so keep an eye for mugs as I said this is a good one this went on my car it was the ben benga jean benga jean which i never heard of before but they were new, brand new with tag jeans and when i did a quick search they sold for good money i paid four dollars for them i sold them for 62 dollars and 55 dollars and 26 cents went to my car funds so they're the two things i took out of here this week for my car uh, Yarra Glen Bowl I have just sold that I'm just waiting to hear back though because there, I just noticed when I went to pack it yesterday there's a little bit of crazing in the bottom which is probably normal um, I actually had to split the plate below it she didn't want that she only wanted the bowl so she made an offer just on the bowl alone and I'm just waiting to hear back from her to see if she's happy to still take it this wheat print tea set which I was so tempted to keep one of them but I didn't end up getting rid of them um, someone sold someone bought them for $30 the other day I think I paid about $3 for them a little while ago now I can't remember when but a while ago and I made $22.98 from those I'm sitting in the car park I just dropped my husband off to do the shopping he's not well so I've got to go there with him in a sec but I said since my whole day is so messed up I'll quickly do this and get back later and edit it but I'm sitting in the car park um, yeah I could go forward but I won't because my husband's got to put the groceries in um, and I might go forward <laughs> uh, someone's just leaving but they're looking at me strangely because I'm talking to myself but I'm not I'm talking to you guys okay so the 22.98 was a wheat set it was a lovely set too one unusual set you don't see very often um, 
Tasks of Tantalan. Tantalon, remember I got that the other day? 50 cents. I sold it for $22. See? Old books sell. $18.47. I think they made an offer at 22. I think I had or oh, I think I had it for 25. I can't remember, but anyway, $18.47 I made on a 50 cent book. Anthony Ryan books, I've had them for ages and ages. I paid about $4. If that might have been less, um, and I made $21.94. And the pottery set I've had for a while. Paid for, no, I haven't. I've only had it for a couple of months. Four dollars is what I paid for this pottery set at the op shop. Sold it for thirty-eight ninety-five. Pottery sells as well. Twenty-nine eighty-two. I'd like to. If you're going to buy pottery, don't just buy. Don't buy any pottery. Buy pottery that's been stamped on the bottom, so you can get a give yourself a chance to go and see. Um, do some googling with it if you can. I can't remember. I think this is all. It's got a little signature on the bottom, if I remember rightly. The Toy Story quilt finally sold. I've had that for so. Oh, Good four months or five months or something. Um, Twenty-two dollars and seventy-three cents I made on that. And the ammo belt. This is the second ammunition belt I have sold. Sold last one last week. Um, someone offered twenty-five dollars for it, and I just took it. Eleven dollars and sixty. It wasn't very much, but the, well, really and truly, the last ammo belt paid for itself. But they're both gone now, so that was really good. It did sit for a while. It was a risk I took, and I think a lot of us resellers do take risks and things we buy, but you never know until you try. So total cost of all that stuff was $60 and eBay took I can't even read my writing $92 I think $92 and my profit was $533.89 and that's um, if that lady takes the jacket otherwise it would be a bit less so it's a bit less than last week but it was still a pretty good week considering it was very 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 quiet and like I said everyone else is noticing that too there was a very quiet time so you'll see in a minute Monday and Tuesdays and today oh, I've cried myself stupid most of the day mr. nearly 18 wants to move back up north with his sister probably with his sister and his sister's actually she, she doesn't know it yet I don't think he's had a breakup and he's just not doing really well around here and he wants to go back and see his friends and that's traumatizing to me <sighs> hang on I'm fine it's traumatizing to me because you know your babies your babies but you've got to let them go. So hopefully he'll do a lot better up there. And my Miss 19 is actually coming down with a friend of hers. They're driving down today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. So I'm a bit stressed there. I'm hoping her Patrice side doesn't come out. We call her Patrice, the cranky side. Um, she's very short. She's short tempered, she's short. She's short, can be short too. She's the most beautiful girl. She's very, very caring, loves her family. Like she's very protective of her family. But when she gets um, emotionally overdrawn, she other side of her comes out and it's not a pretty side and I don't think she'll do it while she's here I think she wants to have a really good time with me and the kids but if she if my son and my grandson goes back with her at least she's got family with her and he's got someone to care for him as well so hopefully that works out um Miss 21 went up there and yeah it's just it's just a very 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 busy crazy last couple of weeks with my husband out of hospital he's not well and I'm gonna head in now just to be with him because he's going to lose his breath very easily while he's doing the shopping. So I'm going to um, do that now. I'm going to move the car forward. And then I'm going to add all the rest of this. And I think there was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Um, something I bought. No, I did nothing. I can't think. No, I didn't Didn't buy anything good today. Just trying to think. Did I buy anything good today? I bought a really nice quilt cover for six bucks. I'll show you that. I'm pretty sure this is what it's supposed to be in here. It's that one. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's the right case or not, but um, it cost me six bucks and it's a good quality one. So, I don't know, but it, the original thing on it, and I think it's the same one, it looks like it's the same one. The original cost of this was $239. So, I don't know if it's the same quilt or not, but anyway, I've got one for a spare one again on our bed. But anyway, I'm going to go home. Um, I'm not going to go home. I'm going to move the car forward and then I'm going to go him sorted i've got to buy a double bed mattress blow up one because they we can't have any tents at the showground anymore so because the council doesn't like it i'll move forward before someone else does it's there um they don't like it so we can't so the kids that her and a friend are going to have to sleep in the car or in the bus which there is room i'm just going to put a lot of stuff down and yeah it's just it's just my life is a bit messy at the moment guys so I've still got to get to the shed. I've got to get to the post office with this stuff. I've still got to get the shed to, to pack up stuff I sold two nights ago. Um, so that won't be able to get posted until tomorrow. I'm going to find a house that's still stressing me out. So I might go have to go further north. I don't know. And then that 
if that happens I've got to pack up everything here and take that with me as well so my life is all over the place plus my daughter I think I don't know if I said it my granddaughter broke up with her partner she's now her dad's and stepmom's um, so yeah life is just a bit crazy like the three kids all had boyfriend girlfriend whatever and they've all broken up in the last two weeks two one is still good friends <laughs> one is having issues and one I don't know what's going to happen there but anyway that's my life that's my day and I hope you enjoyed enjoy the rest of this my traumatic filled life thanks for watching guys sorry it's so it's a little bit of an emotional one and I, I am a bit emotionally drained and physically not feeling 100% so you know what I'm like next week or next time you see me I'll be my old bubbly self but it's today it's not the day but in the meantime enjoy the rest of the video thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed and you want to see the life of me um, please hit the button because I don't know what my life's gonna do take care everybody bye good afternoon everybody is your exhausted friendly wiped out reselling boomer here it has been quite a day it is late it's 3 58 that's how late it is it's been, you know those days you get when everything, on top of the other, that's one of my days. No one sees it but you. See that wonder why you're exhausted and cranky. Anyway, grandson did not get his peas today. Not happy. We had this little fella who was training, that did the test, had a bit of an attitude, and was had his face in the book most of the time, and told, told my grandson that he only... Put the indicated three out of 50 times and my grandson I know for a fact he is very diligent with his thing and just because he didn't move his hand he used his fingers to flick it on and off got into the office and that's what he told him and the guy next door said I was watching him go in I saw him put his indicator on he says well I didn't see it so tough and my son goes you're lying he goes what do you mean I'm lying I put my indicator on it every time I put it on early just so you, you'd notice and you didn't see me do it tough luck he says gave him the book and walked away and you know what the funny thing is my grandson's mate did the same thing with the same fella here and got exactly the same results on the same issue not putting his indicator on so anyway he had a little bit of a not even it was really good actually he was quite calm about it, just really upset and angry that he got um rejected with something he know he did he he knew he did so he did put the light thing on but anyway so he ended up you end up booking in for one up the road the other town just up the road he's always at uh, for the 7th of the 9th so I'll go through all the strain and trauma then but my husband hopefully will be well enough to take him on the husband night he's at home in bed I picked him up in between phone calls from grandkids who are upset about stuff and I'm dealing with this and I'm dealing with all my own emotions <laughs> and my husband's rung and said come and get him so I've come and got him poor fellow I put him in bed and I've had to take off to get my grandson's other appointment done and oh and I did some retail therapy while he was at the at the um at getting his lesson he's he's doing his test I was doing some retail therapy but sadly nothing really to share with you except for I got some puppy pads which is awesome because I've been paying ten dollars for like ten recently we've got that damn puppy in the bus when the door's shut he needs something to pee on so that saves me a lot of money it was only two dollars and I got these really awesome spoons for two dollars there was something I didn't get and I wish I had it you know when you don't pick up something and someone else gets it and you go damn why didn't I get it I actually had it in my hand I was looking at it can't even describe it can't even tell you what was on it I know it had 1942 on it, it was a little brass thing about this big tats lotto or tats something on it it was a really weird he's gonna take it home and investigate but yeah I don't know but I got these really cool spoons for a 50 cents each not my style but I'm sure someone will like them that's it I got there that's all I mean I got that sorry it's not all I got other stuff it's in the back but it's all like really good quality towels and some bowls and some clothes for the kids and all that boring stuff that you don't want to see so another thing I had to do too I had to fill this all out last night finished filling it all out like pages and pages of this log book out and then I got up this morning and thought I better double check so I got on, this is a really good guy. If, you're, if you've got a kid that's going to go and be doing their, you've got to do all this, and your kid's got to go and have lessons and do his test. There's a guy on YouTube who is actually a tester. I think he's a driving instructor and a tester, I can't remember. But he's got a YouTube channel, and without him, I would have stuffed up this whole book. So I watched him again this morning and realized I hadn't put the, some things I hadn't done right in this, and I hadn't finished it off. So I, fortunately for me, I'd, went back and did that so if you want his link let me know and I'll put it 
I'll, I'll send it to you because without that I would have been lost and he also teaches you what they're going to take you through in New South Wales so that was really good worthwhile getting a hold of that will come in handy when Miss 16 goes for hers okay so anyway so I had to get to McLean and I got I got some boring stuff but I did go there was one op shop I only went to one because 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 I also got soap at Salvos, all brand new in a packet. Um, I can't even find it, it's two little pieces of jewellery I got 50 cents each, which I can't even show you now because I can't find them. But I've got this really cute little thing, and I, I'm not a doll person whatsoever, so it's a doll, it's doll related. It's got fluff on it, where'd that come from? Um, she, isn't she pretty? Look at her, she's just a head. But isn't she lovely? And she only had, I don't know if that's a dollar or seven, but I got it for a dollar. She was sitting with all the more expensive stuff. I think it's a dollar. I got her for a dollar. Don't know who priced her, but I'm glad she did. They did. And there's one of my pieces of jewellery. <laughs> the watch band. Um, I'm going to keep her because she's going to come in handy if I ever find any vintage um, clip, oh, clips and stuff like that. Or even putting brooches in her hair would be cute. So yeah, I'm going to keep her for that reason, for a dollar. She's too cute to get rid of. That's all. I'm heading to the post office, going to drive by past her house. Um, I can't be in the bus for much longer because I'll oh, skits out. <laughs> gonna, I, wasn't gonna, I was going to go to the shed today but I've got enough drafts so I don't have to go to the shed. I have got stuff I've sold but I'm going to leave that till tomorrow and just take what I've got here. That is my day my people, that is my day. I will see you tomorrow tomorrow for the next next episode of this crazy woman's blog. Take care, bye. I'm at the post office. I just went and had a look at this house right here which would be perfect for us. It's over in South Grafton but we can't get the bus down the side because there's that little awning thingy but I might have a look at it anyway it's so nice and in the back it's got the attic my granddaughter's always wanted the attic i've always wanted an old home like that with the steps coming down and polished floorboards and yeah it's so nice and at the back it's um got like uh, brickwork i think on the ground but it's got an old stables it's been converted as well oh, anyway i'm not gonna hold my i'm not gonna hold my breath for it because i'm sick of being disappointed but what i'm back here to do is to say yes I agree with you both Matilda and Christine I need to get my my printer thingy done because I have today stuffed up I've had two people had two people message me saying the order isn't here and the tracking said da 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 turns out I put the wrong tracking in each of them so I sort the trackings around so I fixed all that up which was something I had to do when I got home and got all my receipts out but I also had to refund a little outfit that I probably should even tell you this today I should tell you on Wednesday but since this is part of my stressful Monday and it's going to be the end of my stress for the week <laughs> um, I had a refund a little blue nighty that I had sold because apparently it had marks on it that I didn't see I don't know how I missed any marks I'm very very specific very careful I just had refunded her and she says can I donate it and I said I don't care what you do with it <laughs> but I refunded her she was very grateful for that but then I've got a refund possibly one of my masters the universe toys didn't have it wasn't working as well as he wanted to he got it cheap like he got it he offered me a, a quite a cheap amount then tried to give me a lecture on how to um list things properly like detail and i'm going well if i had have known he was supposed to do that and the other i would have said he doesn't do that and the other but seeing as i didn't I, i'm happy to refund he goes no wait i don't want to refund there's some other toy i'm looking at and i'm like okay but i'm still happy to refund you if that's what you want so i don't know if i'm refunding him yet or just giving him something else or a discount he doesn't want anything for free um and i don't want to have things returned it's not worth it money wise because i mean that toy only cost me 25 cents and it only only cost me three dollars so to have it all returned and spend that money on postage it's just not worth it for me so anyway that was the rest of my day i am going in here now it may be a rum o'clock tonight i think so i think i might have a very weak rum tonight i think i deserve it okay i'll see you soon bye Good afternoon everyone, it is Tuesday and I've been up since 4 o'clock, I am, yeah, look like I, how I feel, I feel like I look like, yeah, know what I mean, that's how it is, anyway I'm here, I uh, wanted to share some stuff with you, I'm not in the best frame of mind today, I've had a lot of anxiety last night and I've rung up a lot of real estate, we missed out on that house by the way, they didn't have the kindness to let us know, we just figured it out and I just went in to get my paperwork and they said if someone else got it, the tenant wanted someone else and they're not someone like us which is the usual story but anyway I went <laughs> lying in bed this morning I'm going I'm not going up shopping today no I get up this morning I went up shopping because it's my retail therapy it's my drug of choice my paperwork's going everywhere and it helps me to stay sane I know 
But anyway, I did find a few bits to sell. Found stuff for the family again. Like yesterday, I found too much stuff for the family, so I didn't have anything to share with you. But I did get stuff today. Um, because they had a dollar, one of the shops I went to had a dollar everything sale. This this particular shop, every season, they always do a big sale and I had everything, have everything for a dollar. And that's what all op shops should do. And so everything, doesn't matter what it is, does not matter what it is. I mean, the books, I think, were 50 cents, but everything else is a dollar. Like this has been sitting there for, I don't know, I just saw it and it was a dollar. <laughs> so I only bought it because it was a dollar. It's been sitting there for a while with six dollars on it. So yeah, I bought it because it was a dollar. I don't know, I'll, I will sell it. I'll make a little bit of money. Um, stuff for the kids and bras and, and the book, I don't know much about it, but the comps for the bigger ones were pretty good. It's called uh, Dark Souls and it's an art work book. It's got all like, must be some gaming, gaming another gaming book. <laughs> but pajamas for the boys for a dollar. And oh, they wrapped up all my really nice mugs. I got three of those. I think they were a dollar each. That was a dollar each. Okay. Then the books, I think pretty sure were either a dollar or fifty cents. And this is a Star Wars one. Did I comp it? No, because I just couldn't be bothered. Just could not be bothered. And I need more books like hole in the head. I need everything like a hole in the head. I need a hole in the head right now. <laughs> Settle me down a bit. But anyway, I got the uh, these these books. All those sort of serious science fiction books always go really well. I don't even know what I've got. I'm just pulling it all out of my, my goodies bag. I got this for 50 cents. It's just a... <laughs> I'll do it up. It's not look that funky, but I like bookends. And there was only one there, sadly. But yeah. I thought it was actually wood, but it's actually all metal. So it's 50 cents. And I'll hold my books up at the back here. So that's good. I just grab stuff. I grabbed a vintage bag for a dollar. And... Uh, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I've been eyeing this off for ages, this particular thing. But in the in the window, they had it lying there like this. And I think this is open. And they had that next one, but it was two separate books. So I grabbed this one out of the window. And then some other lady comes up, I want that book out of the window. And she realised, then they realised I'd actually got this, but I'd forgotten to get the cover. Now, I'd been eyeing off this, and I'm pretty sure they had $8 on it originally, and they've taken four, but I paid only a dollar for it. Um, the board game book. Do I know anything about it? Not really, but check out that cool cover. And it must have the history of different, that's must be what it is, different games through history in different um, countries. Well, it's still, I don't know, it's only a dollar, so I don't really care. I mean, I do care, but I'm not in a good state of mind today, guys. You're just lucky enough, I'm not crying right now because I've had my little cry earlier. It's just so frustrating getting a home and feeling like a second-class citizen and not never getting one because you've got a big family, you've got a big bus, you've got too many pets. It's horrible. Anyway, it's going to change eventually. I got two pairs of jeans. Now, this is the same shop that I bought two pairs of R.M. Williams ages ago for a dollar each when they had the sale on, so I was really lucky. But I ended up getting, I think they're bike, bike jeans, uh, dry, dry rider jeans well, I've got two pairs of those and a really large size for a dollar a pair so really good quality so I've got a whole pile of clothes in there again I've got to get sorted after getting no more clothes like after finishing up pricing and listing all my clothing I've got another pile of clothes to get into so I'll suck myself but myself up for that very soon and I've got a Pokemon cap 50 cents I think it was it was either a dollar 50 cents because I had some stuff for 50 and some for a dollar but most of it was a dollar so even for a dollar I got two really good hats and this is actually an Assassin's Creed hat I don't know if they're popular though those flat caps my boys won't wear them but anyway got those as well so that's what I got and a couple of bras and bits and pieces so I got that from that particular shop they go there and that goes there and that goes there and that goes there too um and of course me being me goes into another op shop i actually went into my favorite one and it's been really bare lately with nothing in it so i've got a few little tiny toys which are no good to you guys to see it's not worth looking at um so i'm sorry i'm all over the place I'm just trying to refocus my brain Okay, so did I show you this? Oh no, I didn't because this is the next shop. So the next shop I went to was Salvo's. No, the next shop was my, yeah, favourite one with nothing in it. And then I went to Salvo's because I always go, I go to Salvo's every day lately because there's always something. And I picked up this really cool, it's a vintage, um, it's a vintage jumpsuit. It's like it's a, it's a polyester vintage jumpsuit. So that was really cool. I might even wear it. 
Oh, no, it won't fit me. It's probably only about a size six. But it was really cool. I like finding my, it's even got the, the, that at the bottom. I like finding anything like that. And I'd say that's from the 70s. And I picked up this, um, I don't know what the hell it is. It's supposed to be a dress. Why did I pick up this ugly looking thing? Well, someone's not, it's not, it's ugly to me, but it's not somebody else. But why did I pick it up? Because it cost me $4 and the original price tag was $299. And the special price tag was $49. And I did a quick look. The brand is Dis, 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 Ingoff. Dis Ingoff. You can see that? Never heard of it before. And I thought, well, for four bucks, if I get 50, well, I'm laughing, aren't I? And then I went back to the real estate and picked up my paperwork so I, I can get it photocopied rather than print off more so I've got all that and she goes oh yes it went to somebody else it's like well can you just like let us know straight away like we waited I mean they probably because the day we went out there for a drive to show the kids there was other people looking so I think they've already found someone their house was sitting there for so long so annoyed anyway my fault for being slow went past I had to go this is the story god because I had to go to the real estate right next door, it's a minis, and I went in, there's nothing, but it all came out, and I saw books in the door, in the door, in the window, and as you know, I'm in the books, I don't, I probably shouldn't have got this one, but it was only 50 cents, and apparently, he does a lot of, lot of books, he does a lot of books in this style, so, I don't know what, um, it's like a board book, it's not like paper, it's all board, so it's for a younger kid, and it started in 2007, so it's not an old book, I don't know if I'll make much out of that one, if anything, I can re-donate it for 50 cents, but I did get this one, this is the one I actually saw first, I ended up getting both, um which is was that you can read it there you go read it um and i checked about john patience oh it's got a page missing at the front but his books are apparently are quite sought after as well and i'm trying to find a date and i can't find one so yeah i'll look him up in a second but i just realized he's got a front page it's been torn out that's probably what the date was on it i don't know anyway let's hope i sell it the, the pictures are really cool and if I don't, it doesn't matter because I have sold other books and I've made my money back. So, anyway, that's all today. I've got a sick kid who decided to go to McLean today and now he wants me to pick him up. And I've got my other kids coming back down, so I've got to pick them up halfway between Evans Head and here again. My husband was supposed to get up this morning and go shopping, and he's too sick. And as I said, I've been up since four. My brain just wouldn't stop. The dogs were whining. My brain wouldn't stop. And now he, he's just got no energy, which is normal. So I thought, I've been ringing up all the real estates everywhere. Let's let them know who, what I need, what I'm looking for before I apply for everything. Um, and then some of them are going to call me back, apparently. We'll see. What I need to do is win the lotto, at least two mil, and I can buy something. And then, the, then the lot of that worry be off our shoulders. But anyway, he's not well at the moment. Um, I've just had a feed of sushi. I'll take the rest back to Mr. Eleven. I'm going to drop everything off here. I've showed you everything and you know, that might be all today I don't know if it's not well I'll see you in a second if it is well, I'll see you tomorrow okay bye